Talking with senior Janelle Olson of the MSUB women's basketball team, the Yellow Jackets picked up two wins last week, and the first one, MSUB played St. Martin's. Talk a little bit about the team in the first game. Um, you know, we just came out. I think St. Martin's was picked above us or right there with us, and we knew one, you know, any GNAC win is super important, and on top of that, you know, protecting our home court, we need to keep the losses to a minimum, definitely here, and then pick up some important ones on the road, so just being able to come in, and, you know, they played really good against SPU, coming off of a win, and so we just really needed to buckle down, and I think the girls did, and we played hard and came out with a very important win. And in the second games against Seattle Pacific, the team was down in the first quarter by double digits. What did it take in order for the team to come back? Oh, boy. Um, you know, we just had to get on the same page. I think everybody, you know, had a different level of nervousness out there. And it just took, you know, those first eight minutes to really get settled down and go back to the way we play. And, you know, we had to start chipping away at that lead. And Finally, we started, you know, knocking down shots and playing better defense. And, you know, I think our defense pulled us through that game once we figured it out. And to come back and beat SPU is a huge win. Uh, you know, that keeps, you know, the coaches happy. All the girls are were ecstatic. And, you know, that's just another one of those big wins that's really going to help us later on. So let's talk a little bit about defense. Obviously, you had 18 rebounds and then 14 rebounds, career high, 32 for the week. Um, what kind of an impact are you looking to make on the team right now? probably a bigger defensive one um you know I was always told that you know offense wins games defense wins championships um uh but really in these last games you know our defense is really is what win is what are winning those games you know we're not shooting a great percentage all the time um so for me you know rebounding as much that takes 18 and 14 possessions away you know from the other team so in that aspect, you know, I would just like to keep playing, you know, really good defense, picking up some more steals, keeping those rebounds high. And, you know, I need to start making a little bit more of an offensive impact, you know, as this season comes down to the end. So, you know, that's on my, you know, list of little goals to get done here and there. But other than that, you know, just a solid performance. And I think keeping my composure, especially from me and Monica, you know, those girls look up to it. And if we can be calm and get them settled in, you know, then we just end up playing really good. Well, let's talk a little bit about that, especially against the game against Seattle. Nobody panicked. <laughs> there wasn't a run out of the gym. It was sort of, okay, we just need to settle down. We need to get our feet under us, and we need to go back out there. Talk a little bit about how you can influence. Since you are, there's only four upperclassmen, and there's eight yes. underclassmen, what kind of a, what are you saying to the players? You know, I turn them away from Coach Wooden and I say, all right, guys, you know, right here, we're out here. We got to settle down. Everything's fine. Uh, let's start running our plays. Let's set really good screens. Let's get the open shot. Don't force anything. And I said, we can always control our defense and the effort that we put out there. So, you know, let's go out and play really good D, box out, get those boards, and let's take off and do our thing. And, you know, it's nice because those girls really, you know, look look at me. And sometimes it's uh, because if I'm out there nervous and, you know, they're picking up on that so I can never be nervous or anything like that. Um, but no, I, you know, they came out and especially how for, young, or for how young these girls are, they grind and they listen, you know, so well. And I've been on plenty of teams, you know, where if they were down 17 to 2, they'd be like, all right, pack the bags, the game's over. But, you know, we don't do that. And half the time I didn't even look up at the scoreboard. I knew it was ugly and I knew that we had to start chipping away. And finally at halftime, you know, we got that game under control. And I just think that that just shows, you know, how hard we do work and that we don't give up. And that's just an attribute to the girls. And in that third quarter, you ended up holding Seattle Pacific to just five five points, back-to-back um, -back baskets. What kind of momentum does that give you as you head it down to, into the stretch? Oh, huge. If anything, I think it gives confidence. Um, you know, out there, when we held them and we started hitting our shots, it was just like you couldn't stop us. You know, our defense was really shutting them down, you know, as you said, and then our offense, you know, started hitting shots, started getting to the free throw line, just making the easy plays, and I think that's so important. And just momentum in any sport can carry you a long ways, especially with the confidence that comes behind it. And let's talk about momentum into this week. You're back out on the road playing Western Oregon and the newest member of the GNAC Concordia, who you haven't seen before. Talk a little bit about how you're going to keep up that momentum as you head back out onto the road. Um, at this point, I think it's really important to take uh, each game game by game. We really got to put all of our effort right now into Concordia, and then after we play Concordia, we got to put all of our effort into Western Oregon uh, in the GNAC as 
we're starting to see at any given night anybody can be beat. And so for this team, it just is going to have to take our A effort from here on out and hopefully not have to battle back anymore because, you know, that does take a lot of extra effort and just to play solid and treat every team like they're the number one team and just got to keep grinding against them. I'm here talking with sophomore Lexi Prevo of the women's basketball team. Lexi, last week the Yellow Jackets picked up two wins at home against St. Martins and Seattle Pacific. Let's start with St. Martins. Um, you really had to contain some of the top scorers in the GNAC, specifically Krista Stabler. Talk a little bit about the defensive mindset going into that game. We had just previously watched Seattle Pacific and St. Martins play on Tuesday, and um, Krista Stabler had a really big game. She had over 30 and we just knew going in that we needed to stop her and contain her, and I think we did a really good job of that. I think she only had 11, and she shot up quite a few times and didn't have a good shooting percentage, so we did our job and contained her and got a nice W on Thursday. And then in the game against Seattle Pacific, you guys were down in the first quarter, really needed your defense to help you. Talk a little bit about that game. Uh, we were down quite a bit in the first quarter, and. Our defense just wasn't there, and then we really picked it up in the second and made a huge comeback, and uh, that's because of our defense. We switched up to a 2-3 zone, and we're used to that in practice. We switch up our defenses a lot and get a lot of reps in at both defenses, and I think that just really helped us, um, help spark us in the second quarter. So sophomore on the team this year, you're seeing some more playing time on the court. Talk about what your mindset is going out when coach points to you and says, okay, Lexi, go out there. Um, I always try and just go out there and make a spark, make a difference, and really like set my game up on the defensive end. And if I have a shot, I'll take it. If not, I look to kick it to somebody else. Or, But I have a really big uh, defensive mindset going in. And talk about kind of um, what your overall goals have been this year, who you've looked up to, and, and kind of how you're finding your role with the team. Um, Alicia Breen is a really good captain for us. Even last year, I looked up to her a lot. She's just really positive, and she always does things right, is positive with the team, and she's just someone I really look up to. Yeah, I just am trying to find my role, trying to make a difference, make a spark, be a big defensive threat out there. So turning to this week, MSUB is back out on the road. You're going to play the GNAX newest member in Concordia before you travel to Western Oregon. Talk about kind of the, the physical, the mental toughness that you need to have right now. You know you've got three big wins under your belt, but it's never easy in the GNAC. Uh, what are you working on in practice this week, and kind of what do you need to do in order to be successful? Um, going into these games, traveling is always hard. You're in the airport for a long time. Sometimes you have to get up early. This week we have a direct flight and we get to leave in the afternoon, which is nice, but we just have to be physically and mentally ready. Um, Concordia, we've never played them before, so it'll be an exciting game and we're just looking to go 2-0 this weekend on the road and keep our streak going. Um, this week in practice, or these past couple weeks, I've been working on being more consistent. Um, sometimes, like even the Seattle Pacific game, we had a really bad low and then a high. So we just want to have a good steady pace and keep our play up. Um, we're also working on, we mix up our defenses, um, getting more shots. Today we just had a nice shoot around to work on like all around shots. So there's a lot of little things. And talk about the confidence right now that the team has, how you're playing together as a team. I think our chemistry is getting um, better each game. I think that's a huge aspect for us. Um, going 2-0 at home always brings us up. Um, going into this weekend, I think we feel really confident and for the rest of the season.